Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Jehovah, the mighty God of Israel, has spoken with me. And this is the conversation I would like to share with you to have this tremendous conversation of the Lord with you. For what the Lord Yahweh has spoken, the Lord Jehovah, at this hour, especially this very important time in the history of the church, the Lord Yahweh has spoken with me, blessed people. Well, uh, in that conversation, the conversation that took place about two days ago, the Lord Yahweh, he showed me his two mightiest, mightiest, most dreadful and glorified prophets of eternity. He presented them to me as they were ministering in the future, then they were ministering in the wilderness of Israel. They were ministering in the wilderness. They were walking. I could see them walking in the wilderness, but in Israel. And so really at this hour, even as we speak, the Lord has shifted gears and the Lord has escalated prophecy. He has escalated the conversation towards the glorious coming of the Messiah. Again, the day before yesterday, the Lord showed me his two mightiest, most glorified and glorious prophets. And I saw them ministering in the wilderness of Israel. So they were in Israel and they were walking in the wilderness. So I could see the trees, the shrubs. I could see it was dry. Only certain vegetation could survive in that desert. And they were walking, walking between the shrubs and the vegetation that had grown in that wilderness. And they were ministering from the wilderness of Israel. Now, this is amazing. This comes at such a time when there was this conversation that took place that you heard as we announced here when Israel pronounced itself on this matter of the prophets of the Lord. Now, um, in that conversation, ministering in the wilderness of Israel, we see very clearly that that is an event in the future. The Lord has shown an event that is going to happen in the future. And at that time, it's absolutely very clear that the church will have been taken away. So this really has a great appointing and greater impact and messaging that is going on out from heaven regarding the glorious coming of the Messiah. It's all pointing at the glorious coming of Christ Jesus the Messiah. And that's why there is no generation like this generation that uh, has had the trumpeting and the pronouncing and the announcement of heaven regarding the glorious coming of the Messiah ringing out to their ears at such a higher frequency than ever before that the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. And so the Lord in the process is raising the importance of preparing for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And in so doing, he is exalting righteousness. He is asking this generation to go back to receiving Jesus and walking in righteousness, that all men may now receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior and be holy and turn away from sin and stay away from the sexual immorality that you see has really been clouded and deluded this generation and their preoccupation with it. So all this is being trumpeted in this same message when he showed me the two mightiest and most glorious prophets of Israel ministering in the wilderness of Israel. He made me see the two mightiest prophets of Jehovah, the prophets of the Lord, the prophets of the rain, the prophets of eternity, the prophets of the cloud of God. And I saw them ministering in the wilderness of Israel. And I could see the shrubs there, the kind of vegetation for that dry place. It's a desert situation. And they are ministering. They are walking in there in Israel. And they've gone there to defend the nation of Israel. They've gone there to bring to bear, to bring to reality the agenda of God, the prophetic timeline of God 
regarding the national revival of Israel and the redemption of God's covenant people, the blessed people of Israel. Pray the Lord bless you. The Messiah is coming. Tada shalom. Tada rabah. Tada tada.